Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me It is frozen this morning, so Luke is out scraping the windscreen of the car. It's so cold. One and a half degrees this morning, 8.29. It's chilly. It's chilly. And oh, you're about to hit 10,000. Oh, 10,000. Good morning. Oh, the air's a bit loud. We are waiting for the car to defrost. Oh, it's a chilly one and a half degrees this morning. It is, it is uh, a defrosting day. Yeah, it's actually half eight, so it's, it's quite late. Um, Happy Vlogmas Day 6, Sunday six. Sunday the 6th of December. Yes. Um, we slept in a little bit longer than we wanted to, but we were... We needed it. It was a pretty active day yesterday, yeah. so climbing that hill was knackering. Your knee was a bit sore, wasn't it? My knee was really sore, um, so we needed that little bit of extra sleep. Yeah, so your, like, your physio says, like, do things up to 45 minutes, but because it was quite downhill, I think a lot of weight on it, maybe. Yeah. So this morning, we're leaving the hotel. We've just checked out. Bargain, £29 a night. I mean, we were just looking through January and there's so many Premier Inns you can get for like 29 quid. It's amazing. Which yeah. are really great value for the quality of them. Mm -hmm. um, so assuming everything's okay in January, yeah. <laughs> we'll so, hopefully maybe do some walks in January. So where are we going this morning? We're going back to the beach today, this morning, just for a brief goodbye, because um, we don't know when we'll see it again. Um, but yeah, looking forward just to saying farewell. Yeah, gonna pop and see sandbanks. The sun's supposed to come out a little bit later. Whether it's out when we get down there, I'm not sure. Mm. It's about 15 minutes from here. So we'll see you guys sunrise this morning. Look at that. So nice. We're just about to see. The it. flood is still here. Another one that we went through yesterday. Ooh. So we're gonna go through really slowly. That's it. Ah. Try your brakes, try your brakes. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're gonna go right. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful morning. We're coming down now just to uh, Sandbanks area. Sandbanks has been kind to us for weather. <laughs> yeah, like yesterday was horrible all day, and then today, we're look back. at this sunrise. Ah, oh, look, gorgeous sunrise. Really beautiful out on the water over there. Much calmer today, I think. Yeah, very quiet around, just mainly like runners, dog walkers, like cyclists. Um, very quiet. See, that's Brownsy Island there today. So we've come around the other side today. And I think you can see the sort of, won't come out too much on camera, but the sun's kind of shining on the buildings on Brownsy Island. It's just lovely. Morning. Parked up. We're just saying how lovely it would be to live. Like, if we live 15 minutes from here, probably would come here every morning for a walk. This is where we do our morning walks to shore every day. <laughs> I think we should walk along the uh, pier again. Yes. It's too useful. The sun is shining. We're just saying the air just feels so like fresh and clear clean. and crisp and clean. So good. So good. It does feel so good to be down to the beach and this has made us realise that we need to come more often. Come more often <laughs> as long as we can, but come more often. Look at these waves, you can hear it. I want to say the tide's a little bit more in than Friday. I just watched these two dogs over there go in the sea. See the two running around? The white one. It runs right in the sea. Oh. Really? I know it's not going to go in now. But it literally just ran right in the sea. Oh my god, there's someone swimming. Oh wow. No way. <laughs> there's someone in the sea. Oh, it's so brave. That just wouldn't be me. We're just talking about the guy that we've just seen swimming in the sea and he's just come out and he's absolutely red raw. Red <laughs> we just like, we're just saying, we just couldn't even comprehend <laughs> how cold that must be in the sea right now. But it's good for you. I think they do yeah. it in Russia. Like the Russian, they do like the, in, in the like Arctic region, they do those like cold water plunges. No, not for me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's got a hut. I think he's the guy that was working from home from his hut the other day. Yeah, we saw somebody on um, yeah, Friday. Is. He is going in the hut. Yeah. It's the guy I thought it was. Um, Life by the sea. <laughs> that is. Imagine working from home in one of these huts, though. I know, it's just... Could you imagine that? Amazing. Wow. That is the life. But yeah, 
So that's the zest for life. Yeah, zest for life. Listening to the ocean right now, it's so nice. Yeah. Just following all the little paw prints. This is like one big playground for the dogs. It's dog heaven. The dogs <laughs> it's dog heaven. So many dogs. All these paw prints. <laughs> but yeah, this is us just walking along the seafront, <laughs> loving life. <laughs> Luke's just spotted the picture of this ice cream on the board. I know that's it's like, cream. this is something I would go for. Like, comment below, what would be your ice cream of choice coming to the seaside? Something like this, like strawberry ice cream swirl, is probably something I definitely would choose. They've even got a dog wash station here. So cool. How cool is that? It's just yeah. literally around here. It's like a car <laughs> I've never seen this before. Wow. Oh, so you just pay using your card. So you've got flea shampoo, <laughs> rinse, condition, low, low blow, high blow, disinfect. Amazing. Look at the Bay Area. Palm trees. Car. A lovely time the other beach, didn't we? Yeah, I'm just waiting for my cheeks to wake up. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. We were just saying how um, we just would love to live much closer, and yeah, I think that's in the plans now. Yeah. We we're also saying how um, this is the first time in a long, long time it's felt normal. Yeah. Yeah, to be out and about and to go somewhere. Yeah, it's been really nice, really nice. So um, well worth it. So, you know, £29 a night, cheap getaway. It's so worth it. Yeah. And um, yeah, so we're gonna drive back. It's about an hour and a half ish um, back. Gonna, I think we're gonna get a Starbucks. On the way back, we need some coffee. Yeah. And uh, also hot chocolate. Yeah. And then I think we're gonna get some French bread and have a nice lunch. You've got some salmon from Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, smoked salmon. I'm sure the kitties might get a little bit of salmon. <laughs> Just a little bit. Little <laughs> treat. But yeah, gonna go home, see Willow and Socks, have a really relaxing festive day. About which Christmas songs really get you in the mood. Um, and this one, obviously, is definitely one of them. Oh, not this one. Well, this seems one. But for me, it's hearing this. Yeah. Or uh, this one. Oh, yes. Or. Or. Feliz Navidad! <laughs> Comment below, what Christmas songs are those one or two Christmas songs that really instantly get you in the mood? Like, I know like Mariah Carey's um, All I Want For Christmas is one that's quite popular. Yeah. But I like the classics like the, the Andy Williams one, um, Rocking Around the Christmas Tree. What about you? You feel the same? Same I feel the thing. same, yeah, yeah. So yeah, let us know below which are those one or two songs that just you hear it and it's like festive overload. And um, we've, there's quite a few things we haven't watched on Disney Plus yet. There's um, the Noel film, yeah, and Godmothered, and we've, all the Home Alones are on there. Yeah, we also need to watch Mulan, which is now available for streaming without having to pay extra. Which is not a Christmas film. Which is not a Christmas film, but <laughs> it's one that we need to watch. One well, that we need to watch. <laughs> um, we need to go. We've already watched Christmas with the Cranks, which is one of our absolute favourite. Christmas films. Yeah. But I think one night this week we need to get all the Christmas films out and have a real discussion around those. Yeah. Uh, we used to do one a night and I think we need to get that back. Yeah. As we get closer to home it's gone all foggy. <laughs> it's that ominous weather where it looks like it's going to snow. Yeah it's two degrees, uh, pretty cold. Uh, we've just turned the heating on at home from the app to get it all warmed up and toasted for when we get in. So we have the high app don't we? Yeah. Yeah. We've been FaceTiming the family every Sunday. This is my mum, my nan and granddad, all through lockdown, every Sunday evening. It's Sometimes little, your brother. Sometimes my brother pops on and says hello. So um, we're FaceTiming them this evening, which I'm really looking forward to. We've already talked about Christmas Day. and um, One of our favourite family games is Yahtzee. I don't know if any of you guys have played Yahtzee, dice game. I love that game. It's so easy, you just have the dice in, obviously, in the container, shake it, and then everyone's got to tick off their, their bit. And we thought, how can we play that virtually? So we've got Yahtzee, my younger granddad have got Yahtzee, my mum doesn't, she's gonna buy it. And then we're all gonna obviously have our dice and try and play it over FaceTime on Christmas Day. It's gonna be good fun. So, cause obviously Christmas Day is all about the games and family time. So we're gonna do that, but just virtually. So it'd be diff a different experience. So yeah, I know that my nanny granddad wanna, and my mum wanna do a little hello to everyone. So I think it might not be this week, but next week. So they need time to get their Christmas stuff on. Your Christmas <laughs> message from the family. Yeah, it'd be nice. So we're really looking forward to that. It's a nice yeah. Sunday and a uh, nice uh, Christmas film as well in the evening. Into Starbucks. Time for us rich going in to collect them. Click and collect. So we always do the click and collect at Starbucks. Um, his leg was hurting a bit, so it's good for him to do a quick, quick little walk. 
Um, but it's just so easy doing the pickup and they're always ready and it's just oh, so got fast. Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you go for? I went for a gingerbread frappuccino, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. look at this. Gingerbread, iced gingerbread latte. Iced gingerbread latte. And it's yeah. got the little bits on top. Looks really good. Yeah. Festive. <laughs> um, and I've gone for the toffee nut latte, which I have at least two or three of these a week. I love the toffee nut latte. Yeah. It's I mean, my... We used the um, app as well, didn't we, to yeah. order. I love the seasonal cups this year. Yeah. So we're going to uh, head to get some French bread mm -hmm. and head home. Hello. How are you? Oh yes. Someone is not very happy. Hello. And socks. Hello. Bought this plant in March at the start of lockdown. It's still going. Hello. Hello. Good boy. Yeah. Good girl. Look at the two of them. Look, they're waiting for Rich. Where's Rich? Where is he? Where he comes? She's gonna run and see him, look, there she comes. <laughs> no, she got distracted. If you call her, she'll run to you. Oh, look. Oh, she's missed him. <laughs> We've missed this wonderful advent calendar the last few days. So I'm going to do one door. I'll probably just do number five, and then we'll listen to what song we get. Quick look at Magic Kingdom. Just opened the three days, four, five and six to catch up. We've got a white chocolate, a milk chocolate and a dark chocolate with hazelnuts. So today's scent, winter morning. It's nice and frosty out. We're gonna pop this, what we do is pop a capful in the kitchen sink. We fill it with water and then leave it for a few hours and it just smells so nice and it obviously disinfects the sink at the same time. As per usual tradition, we're gonna show you what we got at B&M. <laughs> Oh yeah, Willow agrees. I don't know if you can hear the little meow in the background. <laughs> so we picked up some, actually let's start with the cans. So we got some Lemon Fanta for Luke. Yeah, three of those for Christmas. Three of those. Uh, in the absence of uh, Tizer for now, um, I got myself some Fizzy Vimto. And we got some York Fruits, fruit flavoured jellies. We got some Rainbow Cookies which, again, these are the sort of things you only find in B&M. That's the sort of stuff Rich loves, <laughs> yeah. but I just have no interest in that. Uh, we do like these skinny bars, so um, we don't think we've had the chocolate I don't orange. think we've had any of these flavours, no, the so crunch ones. Rocky Road, um, mint and dark chocolate crunch, so it's these crunch ones, so skinny dream, skinny crunch. And these Milka biscuits are a bit like uh, Petit Ecolaire in France, which you get in, um, they're made by Lou. Lou? Um, the French supermarket, <laughs> no, the, the French brand Lou. Um, yeah. And then Rich saw these. I saw these. So they Mr. Kipling, Kipling chocolate and caramel reindeer slices. So it's like um, like a cakey bottom with That's some nice. yeah icing and stuff. All goodness. Um, a lot of you mentioned actually um, on Instagram. I think that we could pick these up in B and M. They're vanilla mint. Vanilla mint. Um, and we've got Winter Spice Twix and we've got another Winter Spice Twix and we've got a Malteser Bunny, this is orange? Yeah. Orange. And then we've got the Pick and Mix. Uh, the Pick and Mix and my mum actually got Luke this um, for one of your birthday presents I or think? Or Christmas last or year Or Christmas last year. Um, and it's they're super tasty so we picked one up again to have in the cupboard just for a few now and again. That is our mini haul. Yeah, mini haul. Okay. So in the UK, if you're from the UK, this won't be a surprise to you. Been around since we were children and probably one of the most like Christmassy things you can have. Yeah. Are the tins of chocolates. <laughs> Specifically, Roses and Quality Street that have kind of been around for absolute years. Yeah. And then over, I'm not sure which came next, either Heroes or Celebrations here at the end. But we've got all four. <laughs> we've collected the whole set this year. <laughs> yeah, so there's lots of, there's some different ones as well they do, aren't they? Like sweet ones and stuff. Yeah. But these are kind of, we feel the top four. And we thought, hello Willow. <laughs> <laughs> we thought we'd go through them and um, just talk about them. And especially for those internationally that may not have these, it's quite cool to uh, talk about it. Starting with Roses. 
Hello socks. <laughs> socks are just coming. Um, we're not actually going to um, taste any of them, but we'll kind of show you um, what's in each tub. So this one has got a real selection. I'll, I'll do this one and Rich can do the next one. You've got some of the favourites I would pick out. The Strawberry Dream. Yep. Which is that one. I'm waiting to see if Luke picks out the same. The Caramel. Yes, of course. <laughs> the Cadbury Dairy Milk Chunk. Orange Cream. Yep. Mm, no, that's sort of midway. Signature Truffle. Yeah. The Golden Barrel. Yeah, the Golden Barrel. That's like caramel as well. Hazel in Caramel. Yeah. There's a lot of caramel. Actually. Hazel Whirl and Country Fudge. So I think Rich and I are going to just pick our favourites out of these. Yeah. If you have had them before, what are your favourites for Ooh, kitty attention now? <laughs> <laughs> I think Willow recognises the sound of the tub opening. I don't know how. They're also very aware that their advent calendar has still only had one day. <laughs> We're a bit behind. Yeah. But they keep hovering around that. So they never used to be wrapped like this. No. They used to be more individually wrapped, didn't they? Like like, like foil wrapped. Tin, like foil? Tin yeah, foil? Yeah, foil wrapped. Yeah. Okay, we've narrowed down our top three. So on the left, as always, for L for left, R for right, <laughs> yeah. rich. Uh, I've gone for the Strawberry Dream, the Carrot Golden Barrel, and the Hazel Whirl. And rich. literally, literally like two seconds ago, I would just change my mind again. But <laughs> final, the final decision, uh, Hazel in Caramel, uh, Classic Dairy Milk on its own, and the golden barrel. It's hard to pick top three. Yeah. Next up, Quality Street. Now we went for the tin rather than the plastic tub um, for the Quality Street because it's more nostalgic in our opinion. Um, like, oh, it was all they all were always in tins before, weren't they? Yeah. Now they've started to migrate to plastic tubs. Um, it's got them on the side. I'm just going to try and get it to focus. It's not going to focus. There we go. So we've got the caramel swirl. And Luke's going to help me with chocolate the... caramel brownie. Yeah. Orange cream. Mm hmm. We've got strawberry delight, orange chocolate crunch, and toffee finger. The green triangle. The green triangle, that's one of my faves. The purple one. Yep. And fudge. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just trying to get out. Uh, milk chocolate block, toffee penny. penny. And coconut eclair. Mm, no. And we've been round now, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, we've been round. <laughs> so as you can see, the chocolates are trying to escape. So there we go. So you can tell the difference between roses and Quality Street in terms of the packaging. I have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there they go. These are wrapped like they. This is how they've always been wrapped. Yeah, this is how they've always been wrapped. Look yeah. Look at the triangle in the foil. It's so classic. It just reminds you of like Christmases at home with my grandparents. It's yeah. very nostalgic. So let's pick our favourite. This favorite. was a tough decision. Tougher than I thought it was going to be, actually. So <laughs> as you can see, we went for four, because we couldn't narrow it down. Um, so I've gone for the purple one, which is... Uh, that's with the hazelnut inside, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's the one they're doing at the Costa hot chocolate. Yes. The latte. The caramel... Swirl. Swirl. The green triangle, yeah. which is the... Is it truffle? Yeah, I think so. it just says green triangle. Green triangle, but I think it might be truffle in there. And this is the one I really couldn't decide on, but it's the caramel penny, I think it is. Toffee penny. Toffee penny, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's what I chose four. No, I've also chosen four because it was really tough. The orange one, um, the triangle. I've got the min milk chocolate bar, and I've also gone for that the strawberry one. cream. Yeah. Strawberry cream. So what are your favourite ones on these? That's not, oh, we've just got to film this because it just looks so good. <laughs> it's art. <laughs> all, it's magic. All 1,000 grams. We are going to absolutely struggle. Kilogram to, of chocolate. There's no way we can get through all this chocolate over Christmas. I think we will. <laughs> no, 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 you're on your own on that Next one. Next up, Heroes, which is a more recent edition. And these are sort of just classics, um, classic chocolates that we have. Um, Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> Again. <laughs> This is similar packaging to the roses. It is. And this is going to be a much easier decision for me because there's some in here I don't like. Yeah. But we've got, from the left, we've got the Eclair, Fudge, Whisper, Dairy Milk, Crunchy, right at the front, which is brilliant, <laughs> Double Decker, Twirl, Dairy Milk, Caramel, and then the Twisted Egg one, which is... I think that's the newest edition. More of it. a recent edition. And Cadbury's Cream Egg Twisted. Yeah. yeah. So let's pick okay, some. Okay, so I went on the left for twirl, crunchy, and whisper. A much easier decision on these ones. Hello, socks. <laughs> it just has to come in. And what did you go for? And I went for crunchy, whisper, and dairy milk caramel. So the ideal is that when you're with someone or your family, that you like the alternatives so mm. that 
someone can eat all the fudges because I don't like fudge. I don't like double deckers. So um, I, I like the double deckers. Do you yeah. like the fudge? Um, I like the fudge. So that you like works. you trade off, don't you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, the one that I'm just I've never been sure about is the cream egg one. Uh, I just don't think it belongs in. Heroes. For me, the, the cream egg is in a cream egg. Yeah. It's in, in the egg for Easter, and that's it. And that's it, yeah. But anyway, so, that's our opinion. Tell us if we're wrong. What do you <laughs> like? Celebrations! Now, these are right up there, I would say. It's yeah. Some of the most popular. It's probably easier to talk through them on here because it's actually got the biggest on that. Except one. we'll just ignore the bounty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this Sorry, doesn't bounty exist. Fans. Sorry, bounty fans, but no. Most people don't <laughs> like bounties. They're the ones that, generally speaking, are always left. <laughs> we, we tend to take our bounties into work because there's always one person in the office that likes the bounties. And yeah. They're like, they just get hundreds of bounties every year. <laughs> yeah. And I have to say one thing there used to be a truffle one. Do you remember? There used to be yes, a truffle the Galaxy one. Galaxy Truffle. Galaxy Truffle, uh, which is sim was similar sort of shape and size to the Maltesers. Oh, yeah. And they removed it. I, I don't know them. why. I'm a bit upset about I that. I forgot about them because it was you went you went for the Maltesers and the truffles first. Yeah, exactly. That was uh, just a crime. <laughs> so we've got Milky Way. Uh, Milky Way, yep. It's Which isn't the same Milky Way as in the US. No. <laughs> uh, Twix, Maltesers. Maltesers are the best. Yep. Snickers. Bounty. <laughs> <laughs> Galaxy Caramel. Uh, regular Galaxy and Mars. Mars. So this mm. is the, in the UK. This is the alternative to um, Cadbury's. So yes. None of these brands are Cadbury's brand. How many? We've got quite a few <laughs> red ones because the first thing you want to find out is how many. How many Maltesers? Because you have to divide those up because generally everyone loves the Maltesers. Yeah. And then you get rid of the bounties. <laughs> and there's always so many bounties. <laughs> there are. I don't know why they put so many bounties in. Um, there are going to be bounty lovers who watch this vlog. So apologies in advance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's look at our favourites. Okay, so you can see a similarity here. We've both gone for the Malteser one first. It's just the best. Um, I've gone for Milky Way, because I feel like that doesn't really feature in any other, other tubs that we have. Yeah. Uh, and, surprise, surprise, Galaxy Caramel. I'm a bit of a caramel addict. Yeah, you are. <laughs> and we both we both grabbed for the Maltesers first. Like We're like, they're definitely the ones. Yeah. Malteser, Twix. I just love Twix. And they're really cool in the miniature form. And then Galaxy Non-Caramel. Yeah. Which is just, in the US, it's called Dove Chocolate. Yes. Uh, Dove is a soap in the UK, so obviously they probably didn't <laughs> want to bring out Dove chocolate in the UK because of the, the branding doesn't quite fit. Yeah, and Milky Way, that's in the US, that's more of a Mars bar, isn't it? Yeah, I think it has got a different taste to it. Yeah, so there's some similarities, but yeah, don't try not to confuse them if you're watching from the US. <laughs> okay, so normally we would probably have one or two of these. 2020 means that we've got four of them, so <laughs> we've just accepted that. We wouldn't normally have four. Yeah, we're going all out for Christmas this year. I mean, when we, when we normally go to the America... Um, Florida for Christmas, we would just not want to buy too much food for the house because it just... Hello again. <laughs> you probably wonder why the cats have a bowl here. So in summer, um, well both of the cats need to drink a lot more water than normal because of their kidneys. Mm -hmm. So in summer we put loads of extra bowls all around the house just to encourage... You just find random dotted yeah. bowls of water around them. <laughs> and it's just kind of stuck that we just want them to drink as much water as we can because it's really good. So they've got about four bowls of On water around the house. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're wondering why we have a random bowl, that is why. And yes, we do kick them over all the time. <laughs> oh dear. Um, but back to the chocolates. So if you had to pick one of these, which one would you pick? Mm. You're asking me that. I'll ask everyone that's watching <laughs> and I'll ask us now. So go on you, Rich. You have oh, to pick one tin. I have to pick one tin. Only one. Do you know what? Just purely for nostalgia reasons, I'm going to go for Quality Street. Because See, it is, I, I, yeah. I feel like it's the original. See, I'm the same. I would go for Quality Street. Yeah. Um, also because it's the biggest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I yeah. feel like there's the most in there. It, it sums up Christmas the most. Yeah. If it wasn't Christmas, I would probably pick Celebrations. Yeah. What about you guys? Please comment below which one is your family staple or would you most like to go for? So while we're here, we are a few days behind on the Kitty Advent Calendar. Uh, they can only have one treat per day, so we're going to go for number two today. And if you didn't watch the other vlog, then they absolutely loved number one. So we're thinking that it would just go through past Christmas for them, so they can have treats all through December. Yeah. Um, I've actually... For, for the guys in the UK, if you haven't visited Trader Joe's, it's a really quirky store they have in, in America. There's one in up near Universal. We went to the one in Boston, didn't we? I'm sure it was Boston, yeah. It was Boston. Uh, so right. that's number two today. All right, let's rustle the package and see who we get. Behind window number one, we he, have a socks. He's busy eating. He's busy eating. <laughs> Do you want a treat? Oh, yes, please. 
A treaty. Do you want a treaty? Oh, Alan. He's not sure about it. It's because he's busy eating at the moment. He was eating. <laughs> you can have a treat. Maybe in a minute. The second we turn the camera on, he literally <laughs> he gobbled it. it. So I think he's um, a bit camera shy. Socks has always been hard to film. Good. Willow will come down when she's ready. We'll save, we'll save Willow's bit in here. <laughs> also, something's gone terribly wrong with our Christmas countdown. Uh, who's not been maintaining the Christmas countdown? There are not 324 <laughs> days, that's for sure. I should have been a 024 and then I've not updated it. So I believe there are day six, there's 19 days till Christmas perhaps. So. A little bit of pixie dust, aka Rich. It's been updated <laughs> to 19 days. <laughs> um, that's cool. We've started getting Christmas cards arriving from family and friends. That's nice. Got a cool one there. With the little Christmas jumpers on from my grandparents. It's very nice. So we had a little delivery earlier from the White Company. We bought some nice new towels in their sale. We kind of mentioned before that we don't really do Christmas presents for each other. We do kind of get nice treats together. So this is kind of a Christmas present from us to us for some nice new towels. So we've gone for these really lovely towels. They are um, kind of quick drying towels for this time of year, but they're like so soft, aren't they, Rich? So <laughs> soft. <laughs> but they're kind of like knotted, but they're just lovely. So we got a couple of those in the Black Friday sale when there was 20% off. So can't recommend White Company so that's enough. That's the start family FaceTime. So we've got the tripod set up there. Willow's coming to join Rich. She, getting up? No, she, didn't she wants to be picked up. It. She backs up when she wants to be picked up. <laughs> Come right, we're just on FaceTime. <laughs> and we're going to see the Christmas decorations. So this is my mum's house. And this is Nan and Grandad's. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're nice. Yeah, I can see them. Can I see my tree? Yeah. Oh, goodness, over there. <laughs> <laughs> I got... Uh, Santa. Can you see my Santa? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I'll put big light on. Oh. <laughs> Can you see my Santa hanging up? Yep. Yeah. There's my tree. And I got uh, a mini mouse. Can you see that, Luke? Oh, yeah, I can see that. What's that? Yeah, it's all cars. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I got Donald. Can you see Donald? Yep. See that, Luke? Oh, and yeah, that's your village, yeah. Yeah. I got a poo. Oh, oh I true. No, I haven't got two. Okay. Much. No, that's good. Say hello to everyone. Hi. Oh, hello. Well, hi. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I got. I got a hat. Christmas. Hello. Right. Yeah. And that's the card. Can you see it? Yeah. How long have you had this? Uh, 1993. Wow. Cool, that's old, isn't it? Nearly 30 years. Yeah. That was 55 then. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Good everyone. Good evening. So we just had a really great FaceTime with the family. Oh, we're quite low down, aren't we? There we go. There we go. Um, had a great FaceTime with the family. Um, they're so funny. Like my nan just showing us her decorations and, and like keeping cards from 1993. 1993, that's... Yeah, I don't have any cars from 1993 for sure. It's so fun. We always talk about what we have for dinner. We're talking about the week ahead. Yeah. Garden centres. Like, we haven't got to a garden centre yet. So like, a lot of our Christmas traditions we're not really able to do this year. No. So, like, there's one particular garden centre called Long Acres that we normally take you guys to each year. Mm -hmm. It has been all over, like, the local Facebook page is how busy. busy. Like, they've got, like, three marquee tents with queues up to an hour to get in. So we're just not really wanting to no. to do that. And we were talking about on the way back from uh, Paul today, we were talking about how the festive events are obviously toned down this year. So there are few and far between, not very widely advertised, and that's just to avoid advertising mass gatherings. Yeah, which is the right thing. We're just yeah. still trying to find those festive things to go look at, like Christmas trees and, and so on. So I think we're going to try and get to the um, garden centre because it's got a really good food bit with like Christmas cheeses, meats and like chutneys and stuff. And they've got some Christmas decorations and you know I won't spoil it now in case we do end up getting there but they've gone way out this year. Yeah, yeah. and we also need to get to Windsor Farm Shop. We always buy the Snowdonia cheese smoked cheddar, smoked cheddar. Yeah. from the Windsor Farm Shop each year. So even if we just nip in, get the few bits we need and get out, I'll yeah. be happy. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try and map plan those in for the next couple of weeks. But last night on BBC One, 
BBC One. Yep. Did anyone watch <laughs> The Wheel? The Wheel. Okay, can I just... I wanted to dedicate some time on the vlog today to talk about The Wheel. Because it had me in stitches. Um, I can't remember what time it was, like 8, 9 o'clock? I was, I was having a bath and like enjoying a nice relaxing bath. And I could just he kept hearing Rich giggling. And I was like, what are you giggling at? Um, basically this show, so it's, um, they have um, the general public as contestants and then they have celebrities um, on this wheel and it, sp and it spins and they even have like um, a bar, like they're on a spinning ride. Um, so in amongst the show, the wheel gets spun to see where it lands on and the celebrities are all sort of dancing as the wheel goes round. It's so funny. Um, brand new series, I don't think it's ever been on before. Um, but it has its own little jingle as well, and I found it on. Um, <laughs> yeah. I found it's it on playing YouTube. it all day. Let me see if I can pretend the volume up. <laughs> I love it. Has anyone else been watching it? <laughs> uh, I think the first. It's like episode two, but the first episode they had like Mel B from the Spice Girls and. Yeah, I can't remember any they had some other celebrities as well, but um, anyway, if you if you have BBC One, um, check it out. So now Rich has got that off his chest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so, moving on. Moving on to Advent, so we're a bit behind. So we've got the wonderful Genevieve um, daily Advent, which we're going to open up the three gifts for today. We're going to dig those out in a mo. Yeah. Um, we did share um, Genevieve's um, Instagram on Instagram because Genevieve lives in New York and she's doing like an Insta Vlogmas. It's brilliant, honestly, and check if you, it out. if you love festive stuff um, and you love just anything New York, just New York at Christmas is probably one of the top places. Yeah. Um, so it, her, her uh, Instagram handle is at giftguider. We'll link it below. Check her out if you want to get festive. But let's get these gifts out with the clues. So we've located four and five. So we're going to get going with those. What's the clue for number four? Okay, so day four. At least you won't need to spend hours untangling these for the house. Any ideas? Is it like um, a wire to, to keep wires together? Like, um, you know, like in offices you get the cabling. Am I way Ooh, off? Ooh, icing decorations and little Christmas things. Oh, yeah. Christmas lights. Like, um... Look at those, they're very Disney. They hide out of the way. How cool are they? So they are. I, are they for your gingerbread house? Oh, I see. <laughs> this is perfect timing because I haven't done the gingerbread yeah, house. Yeah, that's yet. so cool. <laughs> so you can put, there's a little actual gingerbread house on there, which I wonder oh, if it'll come amazing. out. If I show you it on here. It's, plastic's not going to be great for the camera. I'm going to hide out of the way so it focuses. It may not focus because the plastic. But that is a little gingerbread house there, which probably if you hold here you can probably see it better. There's a little gingerbread house there, so yeah, we're going to have some sparkling Perfect. Disney lights on it. <laughs> I love it. And then number five, Rich is going to open number five. The clue is, it's a mix of Rich's favourite Disney animated characters. Oh. So who are your favourite Disney animated characters? Uh, a the alien from Toy Story, for sure. And? Wally and Eve. <laughs> <laughs> and it is... It is. If I can get the wrapping open, suspense. Oh, I love it. It is the Pocket Pop Keychain oh Remix. Oh my god! Eve and the Green Alien. That's so away. cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So good. Oh, perfect. Oh, thank you so much. Thank I you, I've never seen this one before. I love it. I've never seen that one. Oh. So cute. So cute. Disney quiz time. So, question five from yesterday was Pongo and Perdita originally had how many puppies in 101 Dalmatians? And what was the answer? I don't know. I actually did not know this one. I've not watched that for so long. The answer was 15. And a lot of you got that right, so well done. Hey, well done. So well done to Mark Gilbert. Um, his answer was 15 puppies. Also, happy anniversary. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was nice to learn where bed knobs and broomsticks was filmed. Love that movie. Um, Pongo and Perdita, says Chloe Page, um, have 15 puppies. Me, my mum and dad love your vlog so much. It was my birthday yesterday. Happy birthday for yesterday. Um, the same day as Walt. Merry Christmas to you both from the Joneses. Uh, Britant Fitzgerald, I'm thinking 15. You're thinking correct. <laughs> um, when, I w when I was young, 101 Dalmatians was my favourite movie, but I do admit that it's been a while since I've seen it. Same. Uh, Merry Christmas from New York City. 
Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Um, and Holly Inglis, 15 puppies, well done. I loved 101 Dalmatians as a little girl. Merry Christmas to you both. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. Yeah. And I've got today's question. Day six. Yep, day six. Can't believe it's day six already, actually. It's going really quickly. Um, is which classic Disney princess lived in Bavaria? Okay. Mm, I know there that you one. Go. I know that one. Which classic Disney princess lived in Bavaria? So comment down below, guys. Yes. I think that's an easy one. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go through a couple of emails we've had, which have been really nice to read. So loving reading all the emails, and especially, oh, I'm really lit up. Look, Ta -da! Ta -da! Uh, especially seeing all the the Christmas trees and, and so on. So, um, firstly, Jennifer Logue, Lagu, I hope that's pronounced right, from Boston. Um, thank you so much for your email. Um, it was really nice. Um, also passing on Merry Christmas to say hello to my mum and grandparents. And that was from Mike, Jen, Emma, Maggie and Rolly. Merry Christmas. Our rescue black lab. Thank you so much, guys. Um, Tori Gilman. Um, my daughter Colleen and I love your blogs. Thank you so much for thank your you content. So much. And also sent a lovely Christmas tree picture with Freya, your eight-year-old Siamese mix. Oh, so cute. cute. <laughs> Look, um, Freya just looks really cuddly. Like yeah, the, her texture soft. looks really soft like a blanket. Yeah. So thank you so much for sharing. And I just wanted to say one more. Um, Nathan. And Nathan said he's um, his uh, old vlogs have really helped him through lockdown. Uh, and he also included a picture of his chameleon, which looks a bit like Pascal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's about to say. Yeah. And also, just one more, um, Lisa Grant, that's Lisa, Kev and George, sent us some really good pictures of their Christmas tree and um, looks like a fireplace with their Mickey ornaments on. So You're making us very jealous with that fireplace. Yeah, thank you so much. So again, sorry if we haven't read your email, there's so many coming through and I will work through responses. It's just so lovely to yeah. see all your festive houses and how everyone does Christmas. It's just so lovely. And we do read every single one and can't thank you enough for taking the time to, to write to us. It's really nice. Major tree envy. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to do our tea advents, but we're not going to, we're going to save you the time of us sitting here. <laughs> we're going to just open them up and then we'll just show you really quickly what we got. Yeah. And um, we didn't get round to cutting my hair today, did we? No, I'm so sorry <laughs> I fell today. It is like over the ears. Um, I will get it done, I promise. <laughs> we were just a bit tired, so we chilled, but... Um, yeah. Maybe we can do it on lunch break tomorrow. We'll get it done. It doesn't take long, because I, I, ha I literally have a grade two all over, so Rich just goes <laughs> off with your head. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, it's Sunday night, so we are now gonna watch a Disney movie. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking something on Disney Plus. Yeah, maybe Mulan? I'm thinking festive. Okay, we're gonna go festive, we'll see. we'll see. May watch Mulan, or we may watch something festive. I think we need a bit of Christmas spirit for Sunday night. Yeah. Back to work tomorrow. Back to work tomorrow. I've got that <laughs> Sunday night, Monday feel. Yeah. But yeah, we'll be we'll have a good night. So we're gonna show you the advents now. See we had a bit. few questions if the cats have had Christmas presents. Well, Willow got a new scratching post. Socks doesn't use one, he uses the carpet, which is unfortunate. <laughs> but we've tried for years. And we also ordered them a new laser pen. And they got a little complimentary mouse, which is really fluffy. But this has just come through the letterbox from Amazon tonight. But yes, yeah, so they've got their new laser pen, which we're going to uh, start having a go with and getting wow. them playing. Figured it out. There's like a different settings, so you can actually make it like a different shape. I just saw a star a moment ago. There, yeah, look. So you can get the cats chasing a Christmas star, a little smiley face, and then it does have just the dot setting, which is what they like. So we're going to get them down in a minute and start playing. So for mine, we've got number four is the elegant English breakfast. Number five is a supreme matcha green. And I'm just searching for number six. I've lost the number on these ones. Um, number six. Number six is a three ginger organic. So I'm really excited to try this English breakfast one. I might have that tonight, actually. And then for the Fortnum and Mason tea advent calendar, see I'm prepared today. <laughs> Behind door number four, we've got uh, Rose Puchong. Oh, that sounds good. And I do like Rose, so um, that could be interesting. That could be tonight. Yeah. And number five is Countess Grey. Um, and I had a quick look on the back, and I think it's essentially bergamot and orange um, flavourings in there. So looking forward to having that. Um, only one per night. Um, so yeah, that'll probably be tomorrow. Luke is playing with the laser pen already with the cat. <laughs> Socks is not really too keen. He's not too keen. <laughs> but look, I actually discovered... It changes. 
Oh, oh that look at that. I don't know what that is. That's, that's obviously a star. Happy face. <laughs> butterfly. Oh, can you get the butterfly? Oh, yeah, nearly. <gasps> can you get the butterfly? Happy face. <laughs> he likes the happy face. Butterfly. Oh, there he yeah, goes. Yeah. Yes, he likes it. Wait for to come down. Tonight, thing. we're going to watch Godmothered. <laughs> so, new on Disney Plus. It's um, Christmas time, so we're going to go for Christmas Eve tonight. Yeah, so we're going to enjoy this Christmas movie tonight. Baby, this year is just going to be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been long to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories